<clears throat> How's it going, YouTube? We're finally back cutting beans here. We had uh, kind of, uh, well, almost historical flooding on uh, down in the bottoms, and we had, um, oh, we got almost i think it was around 10 in <coughs> excuse me around 10 inches of rain in uh four days um it just rained 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 and didn't stop um and we we live in there's we live in an area where <coughs> it's not very flat as you can probably tell there's there's a lot of terraces and valleys and little bottoms and stuff like that and there's some pretty good sized bottoms down here around where I live too, but we have a lot of uh, lakes around here and uh, that they've dammed, you know, just creeks that they've dammed up and they had to start uh, draining the lakes and all those lakes eventually flow into uh, the Meridazine River. And uh, then the Meridazine goes all the way across Missouri into the uh, Mississippi I'm almost I'm pretty sure but I may be may be wrong but it goes a long ways um, but anyway uh, just torrential rainfalls historic historic rainfall I mean it was just unbelievable um, neighbor of ours who we do a lot of custom farming for um, he farms a lot of ground um, down in the bottoms he uh, he had 4,000 acres of soybeans go under, um, and uh, it's pretty disheartening because this crop of beans that we had in the bottoms this year was a, I would call, once in a generation crop. I mean, once, once in a career of farming in our area crop. Uh, we did cut a little bit of beans in the creek before it rained um, for a neighbor. He called me at five in the morning, just, just freaking out, <laughs> wanting me, you know, just come on down. We got to get these out, kind of deal, you know. And and so we came down there and we were helping them cut, and they were running anywhere from seventy to eighty bushel. I mean, it was just he had farmed. He told me this farm that we were cutting on, it was um, he's farmed this ground for forty-seven years, and he has waited all his life to have a crop of beans like he had and now uh, two days after we took those beans off that uh, that same ground had um, had seven foot of water on it um, I mean it just the problem that we had this year was that the <clears throat> it wasn't that the uh, water was deep or anything i mean it was deep but the problem we had is that it stayed on the, it stayed on the ground for, on that on them fields for seven days so you know it did quite a bit of damage to the um to the beans because the beans were a week we were two weeks away or a week and a half away from cutting the bottoms and around here you always cut the bottoms first and let the hill stand and uh, we were we were literally two weeks away from harvesting the bottoms and uh, had that rain come I mean we had the crop crop made it just just didn't work out that way but now the problem is we're gonna still have to cut them but now they have so much dirt on the beans it's gonna be very slow going the beans are gonna be damaged they're not going to yield as much the test weight's going to be crap you know it's just it's just pretty sickening but um anyway just kind of wanted to give it a give a little update here on what we've been doing but we're finally finally back running here this is one of our no-till farms uh it's a 136 acre field and half mile rows and um we're uh we're taking it off here and we'll be as soon as we get it plant or get it cut we'll uh we'll be uh getting the grain drill out here going 
um, getting the wheat drilled. But uh, it's just we're we still got 500 acres of wheat to get drilled yet, and uh, it's just just kind of it's kind of oh it's getting a little late. I would have liked to have had all my wheat already up out of the ground by now, but um, you know such is life, I guess. It doesn't ever go as planned, but um, we are. Uh, we're cutting these beans getting all the stuff we're having to hop around and get all the stuff that we want to plant wheat on cut so that we can cut beans during the day and drill wheat at night um just trying to get them going but around here in our area we can plant wheat all the way up to insurance before you start getting deductions and coverage insurance will allow you to go up to november 15th um but we have planted wheat in december um and had really good luck with it we've had uh wheat that we've planted in the fall not come up till the spring and still made good but uh it just um just trying to get stuff done here it's going to be go time now as the forecast looks pretty favorable for the next week but anyway we'll catch y'all later